What is up guys, my name is Patrick and today we're going to be working on the Miata again because I'm really bored and I don't have anything else to do. And also before you ask, yes, I'm in pajamas and no, I don't care. All right, so today I'm going to be fixing something that has been bugging me about my car since day one of owning it. There's actually a clip of me explaining it. So here's Patrick from a long time ago. Early. Try to uh, clean up the headlights yeah, a little bit too. Yeah, kind of. Uh... Yeah. So yes, I've been procrastinating about those headlights for a very long time. And for some reason, my dad had this lying around and he hasn't used it yet. So he just kind of like gave it to me. Um, this is like a, a headlight kit restorer thing that apparently has everything you need. Um, so we're gonna try this out and see if it works. Here's a uh, closer look. It's, it's by um, Turtle Wax. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We're, we're gonna see how it works and see how well it works. Okay, so let me show you the headlights that we're going to be working on. So this one is not too shabby. Um, you can see it's, it's kind of up uh, is where the, the yellowing kind of occurs. So yeah, you can kind of see just slightly it's starting to yellow out. This one isn't the bad one. This one is very much yellow. It is gross and it just, it just needs to change. So I'm going to read the directions and figure out how to do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean the headlights and make sure that there's no debris or dirt or anything on there. Then I'm going to mask around the headlights and just to make sure that I don't get anything in here on the paint because that cannot be very good. Okay, so I finished uh, masking everything up. Uh, just to be careful, you know, if something could happen and I don't want to ruin this paint because I don't have enough money to pay for paint. So we're going to pay for tape, okay? Also, I'm using a little, uh, like gardening mat over there. It, it helps a lot. My knee is hurt. Okay, so to start off, we're going to be using this lens clarifying compound. Um, and then we're also going to be you know, putting it on a microfiber towel. Uh, and then after that, we're going to buff with a different towel. And then if it turns clear, then you're good. But if it doesn't, then there's like a, a couple extra steps that you have to take. So hopefully it just turns clear, but I don't think it will because this is a 15 year old car. And um, also we made this very clear. Do not get this in your eyes, believe it or not. Ooh. Ooh. That should be good. Dab this on there. Okay, so I buffed it. Um, it is still very much yellow, but I do think that actually helped a little bit. So if you have like really minor yellowing, I think that should be honestly a pretty good fix, but mine's pretty messed up. So we're gonna continue on. Okay, so um, we're going to try to carry on. Uh, basically it says to use the green side of this cloth, you're going to lubricate the entire uh, 
headlight and then you're going to basically sand it down using the opposite side and they give you kind of this uh, this lube um, to use on the green side so basically yeah you're just going to get it wet uh, make sure that the entire area is covered and then you're going to start sanding it with this side So now I'm going to switch uh, over to the tan side and basically just do the exact same thing, uh, keeping it, you know, kind of wet so you don't just like scratch up your lens. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it works. Okay, so now we're going to switch to another pad that they give you. This one is teal and purple. Uh, I'm assuming just different grits basically and we're going to repeat that same process again and then again for the other side pretty repetitive, but um, I Have faith in this actually believe it or not. I do Wipe it away, buff it out. Wow, okay, that's, that's actually a lot better. Like it's not even um, actually done yet because I still have to do the final compound, but already there, you can, you can already see a difference, which is, that's pretty nuts. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. So now we're going to take our old microfiber and we're going to do the same thing that we did at the start with a clarifying compound. Yep, so basically what we're going to do is you're going to use the base coat wipe um, first and then immediately after, it, it emphasizes immediately, you're going to use the sealing wipe and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we're just gonna wait for this to dry for a sec. Buff it out. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the wipes to uh, basically seal it in and make sure that it doesn't get any more yellow than it was. Okay, so now the, uh, the headlights are done drying from the base coat wipe and now it's time to basically just seal it off with this wipe and after that it's good and this is going to help protect it from any like further yellowing and it's, it's basically going to make it so it doesn't get worse over time. <laughs> so pretty important. All right, and once you put the sealer on, you are basically all set. It should take about 24 hours to cure. Um, as far as how well this worked, I'd say that it, it definitely helped. Like, don't get me wrong, it, it absolutely helped. Um, especially on this one, it helped kind of take away some of the, the easy fogging. Um, I mean, this looks almost brand new, to be honest. Looks really good. But this one, on the other hand, this one started out pretty bad, and it, it's definitely better. Um, you can you can tell that it's a lot less yellow than it was before. It's more of just like kind of like clear haze, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'd say it's worth it if you have like really minor kind of yellowing and you want to take care of that. But if you have like really heavy duty yellowing stuff. Um, you might be better just buying a new headlight. I don't know. Not exactly an expert in this stuff, but I mean, I don't know. I'm happy with this. It turned out pretty well.
All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm actually pretty happy with how they look now. Um, once I kind of took the tape off, it it looks pretty good, honestly. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely pretty happy with this. Uh, I'm glad that I did it. I mean, this was just kind of sitting in our house, so why not? But uh, yeah, it definitely looks a lot better. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, have a good one.